This is not a common thing. Last night, we had a freezing rainstorm and it continued into this morning where rain fell and hit and froze as soon as it hit the ground. So everything, the trees, the pavement, houses, is coated with like a quarter inch of just ice. Um, and that's not common here. Usually the weather here is more mild. And right now across the United States, there's very cold freezing temperatures, very bitterly cold. And here actually, it wasn't that bad. It was more like negative four Celsius, 25 Fahrenheit around that. Um, but still it's unusual for us. And unlike a snowstorm where things are beautiful, this ice storm is just miserable. And the pavement is covered with ice. In some places it isn't, and in some places it is. I almost slipped. Now I'm walking on the grass, walking on the leaves. You can hear them crunching. Right now it's about 3 p.m. So this is about as sunny as the day is going to get. Uh, and actually this is supposed to melt later, not from sunshine obviously, uh, but from warm Pacific air coming in. Um, and that's going to happen across the Willamette Valley. But it will happen first a lot of times in Seattle because we're right next to a path through the mountain. So a lot of times we get the ocean air first. Although, you know, when I say it's going to warm up, <laughs> it's not going to be a balmy day. I don't know how the ducks feel about it. Um, Birds can be a lot more cold adapted than people might guess, but uh, they're probably not happy. They might think I have some food for them, which I don't. So I don't want to get closer because it would actually uh, it'd be dangerous to walk down this icy, icy bank. Uh, notice that the Willamette itself is not frozen, not even on the edges. There's no like little, um, you know, layer of ice on top. And that's because this is a cold snap. The overall weather in Oregon is still warm enough that it would take a while for the Willamette to freeze. And there are pictures, some of them dating back like a hundred years of like the Willamette frozen over and people like walking across it. But uh, normally the Willamette, even in a cold winter, even on the edges, you might only see a little bit of ice because the climate is generally warm and it's a big river. So there's a lot to freeze. Um, and okay i have to walk back up this so i'm going to turn this off so over the next couple days not just over the next day or two but in a couple days it's, it's supposed to return to normal uh oregon december weather willamette valley december weather which means it'll be like 55 fahrenheit 10 celsius and raining Raining, raining, raining. Um, so this is more like a blip, as opposed to, I think, in a lot of the country, this is like, this is gonna be a problem for a while. Uh, and, uh, wow, I guess like my main point is, sometimes when a weather event happens, when there's something dramatic, it, it's beautiful and fun to look at and fun to be in. Like if it had snowed instead of rained, this would all be covered in three inches of pristine snow or something. But instead we get that. Um, and uh, I guess the point is there, nature is not always there for our aesthetic considerations. And uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna celebrate what's getting to be a transparent Christmas. Not a white Christmas, but a transparent Christmas. Someone fell and hurt themselves, I had to call 911 doesn't look like they're hurt badly. Be careful out there, which I should take my own advice. I should be at home.